So why does the moon feel bigger on the horizon than high in the sky? It is, it is not actually bigger at all. Okay. You can measure it. In fact, it's slightly smaller for other reasons I'm not going to get into. But it, so it, it's completely psychological. And so we call it the moon on horizon illusion. Nice. Yeah, because your brain makes a judgment at all times how far away something is. Uh -huh. It's making this judgment. And based on that judgment, it will say, here's how I, big I think that object is. Right, so think about it. If, if, you, if you look, at, I'm gonna give a really stupid, obvious example. If you look up in the sky and you see an airplane, you, you're not saying to yourself, oh, the airplane's only this big. It can fit between my fingers. You, you, you're not saying that. <laughs> so so you, you, you know, not only intuitively, but your brain is doing su subliminal calculations about how big something would actually be if it were right in front of you for how small it is for how far away you see it to be, all right? Okay. So it, it, the moon, as far as your depth perception is concerned, is basically at infinity. Okay, it's basically at infinity. That makes sense. So what happens is the moon shows up in the company of terrestrial objects you are familiar with. Buildings, mountains, trees. You know how big those are. Ugh, okay. Fascinating. And I then the moon it. is hanging out with them. And so your brain is saying, wait a minute. Is that, is it really there or is that it? No, but and, and while your brain is trying to figure this out, your brain starts thinking the moon is huge, huger than at any other time in the sky.